Well, I'm going for a walk. Do you want to go? Do you? Well, that'd be the case. Early afternoon, but I'm going to make it while the sun shines. <laughs> Been pretty much constant rain for the last week. different terrain to what it was before. Shut up! Pretty wet underfoot on our usual forest walk, but welcome back to the channel, pals. Thank you for joining us on this video. Today we're going to be outlining some other concerns, should we say, or things to be aware of. The water running off the fields. The road here is quite sodden. It's where we water comes down. It's all filling up. George put a board in here. And the rivers or the ribeiros are running quite rapidly. Flowing off the road here. So I'm going to try and keep this video a little bit shorter than usual. Nice to see a nice clear blue sky, isn't it though? Try and keep this video a bit shorter than the, the last couple of walk talks that I've done. So I know that the long format videos do turn a lot of people off. So I'll get straight into it. Today we're going to be talking about something that I mentioned in previous video and that is individual carbon tracking, which is no longer a theory. So I'm going to play you a little video of a conglomerate frontman puppet and he's fronting for the WEF or at least he's sitting in some sort of conference that is linked to the WEF. He's actually Alibaba CEO so listen to what he has to say and then we'll discuss afterwards. An ability for consumers to measure their own carbon footprint. What does that mean? That's where are they traveling? How are they traveling? What are they eating? What are they consuming on the platform? So, individual carbon footprint tracker. Mm, stay tuned, we don't have it operational yet, but this is something that we're working on. So, that's it. Individual carbon tracking. We already have it in the UK at the moment through certain credit and debit cards through certain banking organizations and as per everything that they implement it is voluntary at the moment a bit like a lot of the rules and regulations that came about over the last couple of years they're voluntary they're voluntary they're voluntary until they're no longer voluntary and it's a totalitarian tip though, isn't it? They say it's all voluntary and they'll ram down your throat that it's this amazing thing that you are doing for the world, but ultimately it's gonna result in some pretty significant constraints on people's lives. And that is going to be like what he said there, tracking where you were traveling to, how often you were doing it, how far, what you are eating. And when we look at the eating thing, it's not going to be the processed crap that is making people obese, getting them hooked on sugar. It is the meat and the dairy stuff that is really good and nurturing to the body stuff that there's been a information war on for the last few years at least if not more and the traveling is a big one obviously the freedom to travel that's not just going to be flights it's going to be cars 
carbon tax on what fuel you put in your car. Chances are they're going to be regulating how far you've travelled and keeping an eye on that. Got Oxford City Council at the moment just implemented or they are planning to implement these 15 minute zones which outline when, where and how often you can travel within certain zones and that's the start of it in the UK as far as drivers are concerned and if we let it that's only going to branch out to everywhere essentially so you've got places in Australia now whenever you make a digital transaction that bill is sent straight to your bank and through the CBDCs, through carbon tracking, it's going to be recording everything that you do. And this is coming, this isn't me doom and gloom, and this is coming down the line. So, whether the path can be diverted, whether we can change things, is a different question. But the reason for this video is raising awareness. And if you are looking to circumvent things that are coming down the line, and I'm not saying these are going to be implemented over the next couple of years, but certainly leading up to 2030, they are going to be. These people who are apparently implementing said things for the benefit of humanity, <laughs> which is laughable when you look at what's happened over the previous couple are the ones that are saying they want an 85% reduction, if not a full reduction by 2030. We can see the foundations of said plans being implemented now, so who knows how soon it could be, but this video is to raise awareness and to suggest if you want to circumvent these plans that people have to control what you consume, control when and where you travel, then you need to start positioning yourself to be in a situation where you can do what you want. You can have the freedom to do what you want, the freedom of choice. You know, I mention freedom a lot and it's a bit of a buzzword really, but I mean, what is freedom? touch on that forever in a day but to me it is the freedom of choice the freedom of choices that I've already ha always had and that I always want to have and I want my children to have so food is one thing that we are really trying to keep hold of and keep control of in our lives because I'm not going to let anybody tell me what I can and can't do with my body and what I can and can't consume I am a responsible human being and this fallacy of damage that the small man is doing to where we live is absolute nonsense so I think everybody just needs to stop living in guilt and understand that the effect that the human species is having on where we live is negligible if anything and a lot of pre-programming over the last decade or more has got people thinking that they are the ones who should be feeling guilty when if anybody out of our species should be it's the conglomerates and the corporates who can make a real change not me eating meat or traveling to see my family once or twice a year or driving to work or using a train so just enjoy your lives guys don't feel guilty do what you've got to do and start saying no I think is one of the big things we've got these people at the top saying that whatever we are producing is so detrimental yet the things that grow around us that thrive off said substance. So we've got all these predictions by the experts. 
use that word very lightly these days. But your conspiracy theorist in there, he'll sort you out. He's pretty much mystic megged everything that's going to happen over the last couple of years. So, I'm not get into the satire too much, but you get me drift. So we've got these experts who are telling us these doomsday predictions about if we don't do a U-turn on this, if we don't do a U-turn on that, then we are all doomed. And if these experts have made 52 predictions, you better believe the 53 of them have been wrong. And I'll guarantee, I'll put a bet on with anybody on this earth, that this one will be wrong as well. So we've had about a decade or more, probably a couple of decades of pre-programming to tell people that they are the bad, they're the bad person when you've got all these parasites flying around in private jets and doing what they do. Rules for, rules for thee and not for me society that we are devolving into. But, so I just want to know, I've had me little rant. <laughs> me little rant. So, we're raising awareness guys, at the end of the day this stuff's coming down the road now. There's no two ways about it. It's not hidden information and have you noticed that the, the whole agenda of what is harmful for people has been on the things that are actually the most nutritious I've come to realise over the last couple of years. Bread meat and dairy, you know, apparently these are the ones that are destroying where we live. But you'll have no constraints on the ultra processed sugar laden crap that is creating ballooning statistics of chronic disease and obesity and sugar slavery sugar addiction you'll get no constraints on them because that's what they want you eating they want you eating them so you are a commodity to them do you think they really want to give you the cures to heal your body to make you strong to make you alert i feel like i've got a bit of forethought about the way things are going so if you are looking to circumvent these said constraints on our life then we need to be starting making moves and that's one thing that me and Jen are doing is starting to make moves towards producing our own food because we want our family our children to be able to have nutritious food have the choice to eat whatever they want traveling is going to be another going to be another matter altogether so we'll see what happens with that and that is a reason why in previous videos we have said that we want to create a life that we don't need a holiday from because everything's just so uncertain at the moment. We want to be somewhere where as a decent summer, as the flu vials like we've pointed out in previous videos where you can go and have a cheap holiday and you don't really need to leave your own country. I'm not saying you can't do that in the UK but you're lucky to get a decent summer every other year where I'm from so taking control making choices towards the future because your choices are looking likely to start to get massively affected as we move on towards the end of this decade so start connecting with family start to connect with like-minded folk Start to connect with farmers. If you're living by a farmer, cut out the middleman, go straight to farmers. Farmers are having a tough time at the moment and they could, they could do with that direct income source. We've got what seems like pretty, not to get off the topic, but we've had pretty, um, pretty intense weather this year. We've had got rain here for the last constantly for the last week we've got minus six is minus five in December in the UK which isn't something that you usually see and in the summer we had very very intense heat a lot of the farmers around here lost the crops and our neighbors wells dried up for the first time in more than decades so the farmers are getting it from all angles 
We've had the intense dryness in the summer and now they're getting the deluge of rain. People have just put the fall crops in here and it's just too sudden for plants to be able to have a break, you know, like it was for the plants to have a break from the heat stress in the summer. So I'm being very careful. Maybe I'm not being careful enough, to be honest, with the, the recent YouTube Google partnership and they are clamping down on people who suggest that this isn't normal what we are experiencing isn't normal and manipulation is pretty well documented at this point the anecdotally we see it in the summer you can't so much see the manipulation when the rains come in but they've got a lot more up the sleeve I know that all too well Ultimately, it is nothing to do with saving anything. It's nothing to do with your health. It's all to do with control, if you haven't gathered by now. So just be aware of it. Start making some moves towards circumventing it, if you can, if you have the means. And warn other people who might not be aware. So ultimately, get yourselves out into the nature out into the countryside because being in the cities isn't the place you're going to want to be so we need to be mindful start creating parallel economies where we help each other out and i'm going to be using the channel from now on as not only an income stream cash wise but as a resource to start connecting and networking with like-minded people put the d7 residency visa videos out there so i surmise that a lot of people who watch these videos might have watched them and they are moving over here we are going to be looking for property up towards the northern areas of lisbon so if you are moving over here your fingers on the pulse you know the score you know where to find us coming videos i'm going to be talking about other issues that we might potentially be Bella come on get off there <sighs> oh dear <laughs> come on <laughs> oh you're gonna need a shower come on we'll, we'll take you to the river I'm gonna be covering today. I'll get her on the camera. She's always a hit on these videos. Here you are then. Here you are. Here you are. Absolute beaut she is. These dogs, man. 32 year old man, first dog I've ever had. And I just give you so much love and joy every day. Never again will I be out without a dog. Very tying, but I don't surmise we're going to be doing much travelling. <laughs> yeah, you've got to laugh because if you didn't laugh, you'd cry. But that's the that's the reality at the moment, unless people start to wise up. Thanks for dropping in. See you in the next one. Ta-da!